Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So uh, today's video is just going to be kind of like a little recap. I had a specific question that I wanted to answer for someone out there that uh, messaged me on Twitter. And the question was basically, how did I get started with uh, building my net worth or um, how did I get started making money? So before we get into the video, I'm going to talk about, you know, how I started building my net worth, how I started investing, how I started making money. Uh, when I was working my full-time job nine to five and then I'm also going to get into some of the Q&A and just do a recap of I guess some people were questioning that they could use Binance and then how what's Vito, Vito or VeChain Wallet so I'll get into that then I'll get into some of the Q&A that you guys have been asking because I see a lot of questions out there so I just wanted to answer them instead of typing them all out and I don't like to do the lives because of getting banned and getting kicked and all that stuff so I want to keep my channel kind of safe but anyways, um, I'm looking, you know, good thing, like before we get into everything, guys, like VeChain fam, VFAM, things are looking good, right? Like we all saw that spike. And one thing that I like, so I don't like to use CoinMarketCap.com. I just don't think it's as accurate. I'd rather use CoinPaprika or CoinGecko. But look where we are, guys. We're, we're at 28, right? This is awesome. Like we're ahead of BAT, Ontology, NEM, and we're at 28. And guys, look, look at the, uh, the market cap right here right here so this is the market cap we're sitting at 28 you know we're gonna like I don't know my like everything's flowing up nice but we're gonna go past 27th we're gonna go 26 people are saying we're gonna be in the top 10 soon a little bullish but uh, I, I like the bullish thinking so anyways uh, how I got started in my career or making money um, I think like I said it's all about timing like guys you gotta get into the timing early, um, figure out what you're doing. I kind of had a, like a reality check. Like I said, like when I got my first job and I was sitting there like nine to five, literally it was my first job and I was making decent money. Like I think, I don't know how much I was making, maybe like 40,000, like many years ago. I remember sitting there and thinking, wow, I have another like counting, like if I was going to work till 65, I might have another 40 years of doing this. I'm like, I already want to quit. So it was kind of like a reality check, you know, figuring out like what I wanted to do. And, you know, I, I basically stopped wasting a lot of money going out, buying clothes, buying new things. And uh, I started an e-commerce store. That's how I got started. Actually, you know what? I got started on eBay. But the reason why I got started on eBay, because I knew the trend and I knew the most important thing was building a list. Like I said, guys, like whatever you do in your e-commerce, retail, retail store, brick and mortar, Make sure you can capture their phone number, their email or something, some kind of contact information with a phone number because you can use um, like virtual services to actually send text to them and you have their phone number, you have their contact or you have their email address, right? Whether it's running a prize, a ballot or something or a giveaway, get the email address. That's the number one thing, right? So I used eBay uh, and back then it was, I think I was saying like ink and toner, ink refills, right? It was pretty crazy. Like uh, my hands were always dirty. My friends would be like, what is all that stuff? So that was my like my first e-commerce store was like eBay, selling ink and toner, but also putting in flyers to enter like a gift giveaway, you know, enter. And so you would actually in the package, I'd have like a coupon where it says enter a prize or giveaway. So everyone that received that package would either get a, like a referral code or somewhere to enter on my website with a link in that coupon to, to win something or to get a prize. So that's how I collected all their emails off of eBay, right? Because he couldn't capture all of their emails off of eBay. So I was, as I was working full time, you know, for many years, I was working full time in a corporate job, right? And I just kept building my e-commerce skills, right? And eventually, like, once you start something, you eventually get into the routine of figuring out what you need to improve to get more, more sales, whether it's marketing, whether it's SEO. So like I said, in one of my other videos, I had to learn SEO because my competitors were outranking me and before my sales were really good and I was trying to figure out why are my competitors beating me and I, I learned it out quickly because they were spending like more time on SEO and they were doing it the right way where I was hiring people and it worked for a little bit and it didn't work so I ended up taking like SEO marketing and master classes and paid like thousands of dollars to to invest into myself put more money back into the business of whatever I made to kind of like you know grow so that was the main thing but the like the point of this whole thing is just you have to start and with e-commerce it's great because 
you can run it from your phone, right? You know what I mean? You're just checking on your, your online sales. You can answer and respond to every, every one of those requests or your help desk tickets. And until you get to a point when you start, when you need to start hiring people, you don't need to hire a physical person back then. Like I actually had to hire um, a lot of Canadian staff, which were like 12 to $14 to $16 an hour. But now with the way things are, it's a lot easier with virtual assistants, virtual assistants, um, you hire them for two dollars or four dollars an hour. Use the techniques that I've used, and if you don't know, like just message me or join my Telegram group. I'll, I'll talk more about like money making strategies for like e-commerce. But that's how I got started, e-commerce, and then I branched out to like different things because once you start a store, you could start to expand it into different areas. Whether you're doing like brick and mortar, expanding your services and more, it just kind of leads from one thing to other then especially when you're working with business customers Let, let's say you got an e-commerce store but that serves in like the general like b2b space business to business soon those businesses are going to ask you for other things other than the main product that you're offering they might say hey well you know since you do this do you do this or i have a referral hey i know someone who uses you right and it just kind of like a snowball effect and then things just grow and grow and grow and that's literally how like i i grew and then basically when things were operating 100% of the time, what I did is said, okay, well, my staff is running this business. I could let them go in and run it. And literally, I was in my business only two days a month. I would prepare all my checks at home just to take care of like my kids, my family, whatever, because I like being at home. I would sign my checks and I'd drop them off. I'd be in the office for like 10 minutes. like, And that lasted like a, like many years. And then I was able to travel for free based on, on visa points and all that stuff. But I'll get into that later. But now I'm actually building a case, kind of tracking my stuff on YouTube and on, like, on the journey of this channel is to eventually travel for free and live off of passive income through cryptocurrency dividends. So I'm going to be starting that and it's going to kind of be like a mini series of can I accomplish it and my goals. So that'll be interesting. But anyways, let's get into some of the questions that you, um, you guys had. So, yeah, like this is a great coin gecko. We're we're gonna be growing VeChain fam. So, anyways, the one of the questions that someone had was, well, can't I just buy VET on um, on Binance? And yeah, you can. This that that answer was, if you're in, I think in Texas, like I mentioned, VeChain View on Twitter, he's in Texas, but he can't use Binance. They they're restricted to using Binance in I guess in certain parts of the states. In Canada. You can use Binance.com, use Simplex for your credit card, and go that way. So look, if you're if you're from Canada, come over here. All right. So I guess a lot of people's credit cards are failing when they want to buy like with money. Like, so a couple of ways. I think you could do like you could buy with a bank transfer, credit card. But guys, don't use this part. Don't use buy with credit card, debit card if you're in Canada. What I've been doing is buy with third-party payment. It's a little bit more, but if you use like ShakePay or some of those other services in Canada, it's ridiculous how much money exchange they take. Like there's something like, I remember if I wanted 10,000 US, it was something like they were gonna keep like $2,500, like 25%, it was ridiculous. But with like, you click, come over here, click on buy, third-party payment and you want to use simplex so let's say you're buying five thousand dollars us you're going to get about 4750 which is the lowest i've seen right so you put in i want to spend five thousand bucks you want to i would just recommend just buy the usd until you know what coin you want to buy and then wait until bitcoin actually goes lower and then you do it that way so look you get 4767 back in busd now you want to select simplex and then you continue and then you just read you just fill all the information pretty standard so that's it second part i want to get into is uh, vchain thor so vet versus vthor so that guys picture like vet 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 as your gas station like exxon mobile in the us your exxon that's a gas station now in, in order to drive your car you need gas gas is vthor v-t-h-o vthor so what you should be buying is VET. Spend your money on VET, which is VChain, the main token. 
and then you go into your VeChain Thor wallet, you do your node or you get your node, you apply for your node, and then you automatically get generated like VThor gas. Unless you, for some reason, you wanted like VThor on your own, but then you could go on to OceanX and buy VThor. But you, really, you don't need to. Like, I, like VThor is really cheap right now, so you could buy a load, but just let it generate on its own. Now, this is like the second question that I'm getting is, well, how do I get in a, a Thunder Node X or whatever? So here it is, guys. Follow my screen. So oh, here's um, another phone I have. Now come over here. See this right here? V, v Chain Thor. You download it um, in, in the iOS app, and then you you sync from your cold wallet on your Nano Ledger, Nano Ledger X or S. There's instructions out there. There's video. Okay, so you come over here, right? You go to collectibles. This is an empty wallet, em empty, like plain scratch. Go to collectibles over here. Now you go to VChain Thor. Now at the bottom, click check the trading market. Now look, here are, are all your X nodes and your strength nodes. Look, just keep scrolling through and see what you want. But remember, there's minimum requirements if you want an X node or strength node, etc. See right here, it's 600,000 for, for VThor node. Then they have Thunder nodes, a whole bunch of nodes, guys. So just kind of like pick and choose and just keep looking at, at them. That's pretty low, 181,000. Wow. But, and then the question I get is, should I get one, right? So here's a question I'd always get too, is like, should I buy a VThor node? Now, this really depends on how long you're willing to wait for VChain to go up. If you're in for the long run, then I'd recommend it. And I would say like, if you have more than 5.6 million, then get a Thunder X node. Um, because right now, like some of the other nodes are going for about a million vet and that's like, like 5,000 or six or 7,000 something now. So it really depends on how long you're, you're holding on to VChain for or vet for, because then you can either think of it like real estate maybe your Thunder X node is going to be worth X amount in three, four, five years as VeChain goes up. And as VeChain goes up, the main token VET, maybe VThor is actually going to increase. But look, guys, here. So we are at like VThor cost 0 0.0005, very cheap. But look, at the all-time peak and high, when this is then, it was at 0 0.01. It was a penny. It was above a penny. And we're trying to get a lot of people would be happy if each VET actually got to a penny. So imagine we surpass the all-time high, we triple, we quadruple, we 100x. Imagine how much passive dividend income you're actually getting from your X node, right? So you got to think of it that way. How long will it take us to get to a certain point where your X node is generating you that passive income? And you could check it out here. Just come over to VChain Stats and go to VThor Calculator, right? So let's say you're holding 5.6, the minimum for a Thunder X node. So you come over here and you say Thunder X node, click on calculate. This is, going to, this is going to calculate how much you're going to be making per month at the going rate of what it costs right now per vet. So you're going to be getting approximate US dollar value of money you're going to be getting per month is about $40 per month doing nothing worth of VThor. Now you're just going to like, it's going to be in your wallet. So in your VChain Thor wallet, which I showed you, and you can just sell it later on like just keep bagging it everyone just keeps bagging vthor and then when you've got that accumulation of money or dividends or vthor sell it out on the market right on the exchanges like as a stock and just sell it or keep it or whatever or, or do whatever you want with it right it, it, it's yours like all right so let's get into everyone else's comments so there's a couple of comments that i want to to go over so like i said i don't like to do the lies because of getting booting out getting banned, et cetera, because people are leaving a lot of spam and addresses. Guys, don't click on any of the links that people are, are leaving down there. There's a lot of spam on the channel, especially on like crypto sites. So anyways, uh, this CB says Coinbase shows 0 0.01. They need to fix that. Yeah, for sure. Mike Milley Crypto, what's going on, buddy? Uh, good job, Ron. Keep it up. Thanks. Lufer Jabber, speaking for VeChain, the market looks sweet and healthy no massive spurts slow upward trend slow retrace followed by healthy recovery btc is hanging in there and seems to have less of a a strange hold as far as i'm concerned exactly what i want to see i believe that we might be in for a pleasant surprise in the near future 
how big a surprise who knows but i love surprises okay this is a good point that lou for jabber says is right because this pumps and dumps if you're new to the crypto game like i've been in here like 20 2012 as like a side bet not actually investing my money but when i used to play a lot of poker everyone in the poker community at bellagio was crypto 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 it was like bitcoin 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 but it's like how do you actually buy bitcoin you had to go to like san francisco do this um fill out like this and then it was horrible it was like probably the worst way of like putting your money into something like so so unknown so i just be like okay well you owe me money put 500 dollars towards that or or here's like 500 in black chips right or five black chips was like a 500 us and we'll see where it goes right and it was just like on paper or on your iphone as a note then 2016 2017 got more serious and everyone was talking about it. everyone in the poker community everyone right so we all knew about that before like it was non-stop like we wouldn't be talk, talking about like poker hands it was all about like talking about like how to make tremendous gains with your money with like this strange like bub coin right and i was like what is like bitcoin it was weird but yeah so like lufer jabber says like and if you're new like he's saying like speaking for vchain the market looks sweet no massive spurts so with ICOs and all this stuff, you see a lot of like whales coming in and manipulating the market, right? So you have to be spectacle like on, on the coin itself. If you see a lot of pump and dumps, be very careful because it's easy to start getting away from like, you know, the fundamentals of getting into cryptocurrency and like soundproof companies that are offering like great blockchain services, right? For example, like VeChain. VeChain is a great company great blockchain service great transactions like on the blockchain mainnet you could actually see them right and there's sites out there to kind of learn and how to do it and see if they're fluff or they're spam but then you see some other altcoins that get a nice massive pump and you start buying that but then you know a week later or four days later it's it, you know you bought at the high and then everyone dumped in and it just keeps going low so this is what lufer jabber is talking about right so he likes that I, I, you could probably tell like he's an intermediate to more advanced level buyer in terms of like what he's seeing and he's saying you know he loves surprises and you know i think we're gonna get a big surprise like i said in my other video like i think something big is coming like just the amount of news that that sunny meant in his last ama and wanted to keep like things kind of quiet he'll let that to his partners he likes his job uh he'd like to come out with more news but i can't say right now you know jason rockwood saying about like the appetizers um, it just keeps going on and on and then you know more news with like traceability and vaccines and hospitals right like what's going to come out next i think we're just going to get like this huge surprise and then you know coin market cap coin gecko we're just going to be you know we're going to keep in climbing like that rank of like coin market cap and i think more money is going to flow in like to be honest uh yeah you know what i've been getting uh, some comments so leave some comments below if i if so if you're so i'll do like i did mono and stereo some people were complaining that i had some issues with like the sound for mono and stereo so when i first i'm going to switch it back to how i had it this one i actually put back into stereo so it was like i think it was like mainly on the, the normal side like one side of the speaker and then what i put into mono actually takes like left and right channels so anyways i'm going to uh, i'm going to test this one out and change it back to how it was that was a uh, you pinoy training for life yeah he, training for life is having the same thing x-ray blog yeah i responded to you um it just fixed the noise i'll i'll try and fix the the mic noise remrod film what's going on brother two hours uh been on cro best thing smoking around 18 percent pa yeah so my last video or my third video um we talked about crypto.com cro so like you get the most dividend return for your money when you stake there and like I said, like if you're not familiar with crypto.com, they're up and coming. And like I said, two underrated like coins that I like to invest my money into is crypto.com and Binance. They're exchange, right? Because when the market dips, what do you do? You buy. When it's high, you sell, right? So it's kind of like they've got both ends of the market. They, you know, when when people's in fear, they're gonna buy the dip. When people reaches all time high or higher, they're gonna sell, right? Or the fear of missing out people are going to keep buying and with crypto.com when you invest your money into there it's kind of safer because they worked with like one of the biggest banks to help get more insurance i think they went from like 100 million in insurance to over 330 in liability in like insurance 
which kind of helps like with consumer confidence of putting their money into there, right? And in terms of the marketing and everything, it just keeps looking better and better. And more people are using crypto.com and Binance is like the leader, but still there's a, still a big market share in terms of like getting into the exchange world, right? And I think crypto.com has a lot of potential, to be honest. And, and not to like, and last to say is like, they're one of the only ones who are giving great referral programs. Like if you use my link, it's not a spam link. Like you get $50 and I get $50, right? And on top of that, they're one of the only crypto exchanges that are giving like, kind of like ICOs, like Cardano and ADA. Cardano is going to be listed onto crypto.com. They're giving away like, ADA for 50%. Like, what other exchanges do that? Like, no other exchanges are doing that. Yeah, Rich, well, like I said, like, on Binance, I thought you can buy directly from Binance these days, and you can. You So, if you're from Canada, the US, depends on what state you are. You can buy directly on Binance, but people who can't, like in a certain state or province, if they can't buy on Binance, you just use Coinbase. Use Coinbase to get XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, transfer it over to a site that you use, and then just buy VeChain that way, right? From address to address, right? But as long as you get like one of the main pairs that you can be that are tradable, which are usually typically like Bitcoin, Ethereum, or XRP, go that route. Rico uh, says, so which one should I buy, Vet or Vito? You know, if you're new to, to cryptocurrency and investing your money into like to VeChain, get that 100%. Like, yeah, 100%. I've only seen one person out on like the Reddit forum saying, I'm only going to accumulate VThor. And I was like, <laughs> like, I don't know what he was thinking, but um, extra, extra rice, please. I, every time I see XRP, extra rice, I, I love this guy's name. It's awesome. <laughs> extra rice. Every time I see it, it's just wicked. Uh, what do you think about discussing the withdrawal limit on the three main exchanges with the KYC as as one topic? Yeah, so if you're not familiar with like KYCs, like know your customer. So, yeah, you, that's that, that's an issue, right? Because not a lot of people are, are exchanging or pulling money out. People are putting money in. So, guys, you have to think about this. It's like we're like when we reach an all-time high, what are you gonna do? You got to figure out like how much you can pull out out of Coinbase because there might be a limit. And let's say, let's say you've got like two million or whatever. Let's say, right? You could only do like a hundred thousand a day, but you don't want to have all these hundred thousand increment days because you know the bank. You're gonna have some flags with compliance, right? So AML, which is like anti money laundering in in like Canada or your, their AML department, is gonna get flagged in the system. Then they're gonna like freeze your account, and then you're not gonna have access to your account for like thirty to sixty days. And then you might have swings and then that 2 million might go down to like, you know, 1.5 million. So you really have to know your exit strategy. What are you going to do? Make sure you either got a Coinbase Pro account or figure out how you can uh, store your, your wallet or your money safely, right? Like stable coins. So if you don't have a Tether account, make sure you got a Tether or some kind of like PAX account or BUSD account or you're on an exchange that's very reputable. reputable. Like Binance is very reputable. So what you want to do, maybe you want to have a, an account with Binance because they have insurance, right? That your money, like in case that your coins get lost, like it'll be there, right? And maybe it's a stable coin. So look at stable coins. And if you don't know what a stable coin is, so basically let's say you got like a million dollars worth of Bitcoin and you don't want it to fluctuate, move it over to Tether, which is a stable coin. Stable coin is just going to stay at that amount that you've exchanged it. Your one million from Bitcoin to a, a stable coin of one million, and it'll never change. It might go like ninety nine percent, or you know one hundred one, but rarely moves. Uh, Rod says uh, V Chain is going to pump hard with the economy picks when the pick, economy picks up. This is time to get into the ride in the incoming wave. Yeah. Guys, the last 24 hours have been crazy. Like money flowing into the exchanges, like every like Cardano. Cardano was going crazy. It's like Cardano's like up 20%. Like I bag Cardano, and it's good. And like I said, Cardano is tough, right? Because we're all it's all based on speculation. Like we're hoping Cardano is going to be like what it says it's going to be, 
right? But will it kill Ethereum? I don't, I don't think so. It has potential, but like both of them are going to exist. So Cardano has potential. It's just a matter of like how fast can they catch up or how fast or will the main net come out on time and will they start picking up more customers, right? That's the thing because Ethereum is so far ahead of the game, right? Just, just picture like this, like you're Microsoft, you've got X amount of customers and you're an upcoming startup with no customers and trying to pick up and catch up, right? Might be difficult, might not, but we'll see. I bag Cardano. I bag more Ethereum, but I'm pretty bullish on both. I like ADA because I want to have a right. I want to have a piece in that because who knows? Maybe like maybe a simple thousand dollars that you invest your money into could be like crazy returns. Like Ethereum did that. They went up two hundred and fourteen thousand percent. If you bought Ethereum at its all time low, Ramrod Films says I called VE a long uh, time ago. Brush me off, but boy, who knows? Keep going, brother. We out there, yeah. Crypto Anto, like, subscribe, and alerts on. Refreshing the come across a bona fide, no nonsense, factual channel. Well done, sir. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm just trying to keep things real, man. Um, like I said, if you've reached my channel trailer, it's um, the, like e even though I talk a lot about like V chain and cryptocurrencies, uh, money. It's it's not my main thing. Is like like I'm a business guy, so I run like a supply chain company and a marketing company. But before I had e-commerce, restaurant, corporation in Nevada, still have the corporation in Nevada, have the corporation in Canada, had another corporation in Canada, had another one, right? I was just doing way too much in terms of like business. So like when you're running business, like, oh, like I've been running business for a while and over the years you're just like, it's, it's not like enough is enough, but you wanna make money a different way more passively. And when you come, when it comes to cryptocurrency, like these dividends and these staking, like you'll start to realize like when you invest your money and start making more passive income, like 18% or 20% PA is great because if you invest a thousand dollars and it gets to 10,000 or for like, for example, let's say like what I'm hoping with Ethereum, Ethereum is like 230, 230, 240, $240. You need 32 Ethereum to run a validator. So I'm gonna be running multiple validators, but let's say Ethereum gets to like, all-time high or it surpasses or it gets up as high as what some people are thinking like anywhere from like 2400 to 38 to 10,000 let's say it does that let's say we're it may, let's say we're in not a bitcoin bull run but we're in an altcoin season and ethereum being the number one altcoin imagine ethereum gets to 10,000 and imagine you have one validator of like that's running imagine how much passive income you're going to be getting from just that one validator, roughly, well, they say 14%, who knows, it could be more, it could be less, I, I think it's gonna be less, but you never know, like, imagine, like, you've already started the process, and that's the thing that's exciting about cryptocurrencies is the proof of stake, like, a lot more companies are realizing, or tokens or coins out there are, are realizing that people are enjoying, like, getting set up with passive income, running validator nodes, master nodes, etc. So they're doing that to be benefit both like the company, spreading out sharding, proof of stake. So it just, it's great. Uh, Paul Whalen, need to talk slower and more clear, clearly, brother. Thank you. Yeah, trying for that. Help you out. Ron, please, I'm, if I'm not interested in passive income, but I'm happy just holding my vet. Is Lanner, Ledger, Lanner, Ledger Nano X okay? Yeah. Uh, go, like I said in the beginning of the video, VeChain Thor Wallet, Nano Ledger X, you sync. Go to uh, VeChainInsider.com or just Google like VeChain Thor Wallet and there's a video on how to exactly do it. So basically, I'll, I'll, I'll recap this. Go into your Nano Ledger, you got the latest app, and then Type in VET or VeChain. It's going to have a link to a download. Download it and then look for sync as well. Now that's going to sync with like, or even if you don't want to make passive income, just leave it at that. Just go um, VeChain Thor Wallet, uh, Nano Ledger. That's it. Like, don't worry about uh, VeChain Thor Wallet for getting or upgrading your node, etc. Turn it around. Yes, VeChain fan. Yeah. Ursu says uh, Zill must have. Yeah, you know, Zill, Zill's upcoming, right? 
steady, nice incline of growth. By far, like no, it's not a pumping dump at all. Zill and sharding. Uh, Wayne Burns likes the Exodus wallet. Yeah. I, I don't use the Exodus wallet. She's like Nano Ledger. That's it. Yeah, me says spam Coinbase to list vet. For new people come on coming on, it's difficult for them to buy things on exchanges like Binance. We need easy access for newbies when the bull run hits. Yeah, like I said, like if vet gets on Coinbase, but maybe vet doesn't want to pay like Coinbase's ridiculous fee of like getting listed on Coinbase. I think that it's like ridiculous, like millions of dollars to like get listed there. Maybe VeChain doesn't want to, but. What I would do is, like I said in my other video, just keep emailing support for Coinbase. Bug them. Say, hey, when are you going to get that listed? That'll see the increase of demand because they're still taking percentages, right? And that is like climbing up in coin market cap. So what, do you want to really lose out, you know, on getting per per potential percentages when people buy that? Because that is hot. And if that goes on to Coinbase it's going to open up more markets to like so Sean says uh, don't spam Coinbase they will take it a, it as as bot spamming and delay that's what happened in the digibyte just suck it up and learn Binance it's easy yeah it's got a point too but I'd still like to see it on Coinbase but yeah you, like Binance is easy to use guys like it's not hard you just need your money there somehow and then transfer it like set deposit go to your deposit button on binance and receive and then copy that address go onto their exchange and send send you know send like a test sample first of like 0 0.01 of a bitcoin or whatever or 0 0.00001 of a bitcoin the minimum and see if it works but remember it's going to take a while for that transaction because of bitcoin it's slow it's going to take a while to move so expect like maybe an hour that's normal E says Bayer is sat sat satanic. They own Monsanto. Alfred Prince says NBA. Uh, by the end of the year, VET will be around five to ten cents. By the end of June, VET will be one and a half to two cents. My analysis, education only. By the end of June, no, I don't think June. I don't think we'll be at two cents. We're gonna have a retrace. Five to ten cents will be. It's really bullish for that. I don't think so. But who knows that? You never know, right? J.A. Um, hey, Ron. I had a Honda Civic for five years when I started my career. Humble beginnings. Uh, Filipino. Yo. Kamusta? SoCal Banker. I'm interested in getting an XNO. Can you do a how-to video on that? If not, I'll ask the Telegram group. Alex and View are awesome helping out. Yeah. You guys are my Telegram group. So we've got uh, Alex Lynch and uh, VeChain View and bunch of other people in our crypto wade and a whole bunch of other people in my v in my um, telegram group so it's t.me forward slash tech tips to go got some great guys out there um just answering a lot of questions man even we talking about like uh, upcoming coins like sharing sharing is a good one uh i did quite a bit of research on that so maybe i'll do a video on that q lean life says uh v chain and nickel this time next year yeah this time next year, that, that that's conservative approach, which is good. To a nickel, I, I can see it. To a nickel next year. David Forbes, thanks. Ron Allen, great mentor advice for all levels of experience. Thanks. Inspirado Rupees, I like your videos, Ron. I hope Jason Rockwood impresses us with a nice U.S. partnership. Yeah, I'm waiting for that too. Because if VeChain gets into the U.S. with more partnerships and announcements, that's when I'm going to see, like, I'll be a lot more bullish. But, like I said, we still don't need to really be that bullish just or not bullish or bearish just because VeChain is not seeing as much activity in the U.S. than in Europe or in Asia. Because, like I said, like, just do the population count of, like, Asia or India. Like, in India's just got their exchanges. So the, mon the amount of money that is flowing into like the Indian cryptocurrency exchanges is massive, right? And if we keep doing our job of like spreading the community, the word about like supply chain, blockchain, the trillion dollar market where it's going to be, right? Me creating these videos, you guys sharing my videos on Twitter, 
you guys tweeting about it, you know, vet this, vet that, right? Your top coins. It just helps the overall community, right? And then if we get into the U.S., the U.S. is going to be great. You know, 320 million people. Um, yeah. I'm waiting for that, too. Shout out to Mac1. Great video, thanks. Crypto fan XRP. Shout out to Crypto. Yeah, you got a nice bag, too. XRP, XLM. I don't hold XLM. Stellar. I hold everything else. Andrew Lim. Thanks for the shout out. Yeah. Uh, guys, if you're new to, so I'm just reading my Telegram stuff. So um, in my Telegram, there's a guy, I don't even know his first name, but he's the creator of CoinStats.network. So if you're new to cryptocurrency and you want to see like, so that if you're not familiar with cryptocurrency and how it works, it works, it works off of like blockchain technologies. So if it, if you want to see if the transactions on the blockchain are actually, you know, fluff or spam or whatever compared to the coin market cap, go to a site called coinstats.network. It's great to use. You know, you use CoinGecko, you use Blocktivity. But like I told him, I, I think coinstats.network is like the Blocktivity on steroids. So use use uh, coinstats.network. It's, it's a good one. All right, let me go through these ones here. So... Uh, JT12 replied, no scam, Walmart and Bayer is behind this project. Yeah, th there's no scam with VeChain. Like, they're legit partnerships. Walmart and Bayer. Like, Bayer even confirmed. Like, I think people are realizing now, like, where they're putting their money into VeChain is, like, a complete opposite of a scam company. It's not even, like, close to being a scam company. Nelson says, uh, I should cover... Cody and Zill coins without your videos. My bags are vet, Cody Zill. Yeah, later on. Inspirado says, I never thought XRP would hit a dollar because of supply. Heck, I never thought XRP would reach three. Vet can easily reach a dollar in the next bull run. So I'm going to comment on that. So vet can easily run a dollar in next bull run. Yeah, yeah. So if you're compared to the last bull run with XRP, that was when things were new and people are more speculative people are more aware of like icos and spam coins so it, it'll be harder but i you know i think it'll get there yeah it just really depends on what kind of bull run we're gonna have we're gonna have a massive bull run a medium bull run so it's kind of like a hard statement because not a lot of not like yes money is flowing but not as much money as it could be with this whole pandemic, right? Daniel Smith says, yes, another uh, big major dip is coming. It will be before the last bull run. Yeah, that's hard to say if uh, a big dip, like uh, people are saying like, based on history, we're gonna have another big dip. But that's the thing is like, it's so hard to time the market. So especially like VeChain, that fan there like you're trying to time that dip but what if that dip no never comes and you had a chance to buy it like 0 0.006 or 0 0.007 then all of a sudden you're waiting for that dip and it gets to a dollar right like because still even underneath one penny is is still pretty good not financial advice but you never know because that's that happened to me i had a lot of busd a lot of stable coin waiting it for it to go below like i could have bought more at 0 0.0025 and i was watching that market like minute by the minute and it never went below i was hoping it go to 0 0.0019 again but it never did yeah so end, end of time replied you know that means over one trillion dollar market cap which is more than apple's market cap and yeah so People, you have to be realistic. Like, if you think, you know, VeChain is going to be like a $75, like, share, like, you never know. It could be. But what market cap would it, like, the valuation of VeChain be? Like, it'd be worth more than Apple, right? So you have to put that into perspective, right? It just, it's too crazy to think of, like, with the amount of VET out there compared to the market cap, compared to the price at it that you think it's going to be at, will it get there? Here's another thing. So people are saying, well, if I want a million dollars or like, you know, I'm 57 years old, like where are you going to put your money in? Like in terms of how healthy of a bag should I have in terms of V-chain? 
You know what? That's like the hardest question to answer because the way I look at it is like, how much can you afford to lose and how much do you have? So I just say, don't put in what you can't afford to lose. Bottom line, that's it. And it also really depends on your age too. Like if you're in your early 30s, then you have a lot of years to go through multiple bull run cycles, right? So this is our third bull run. You can wait for another four to six years for the next bull run. Then you could wait another like plus six years. So 12 years you can wait. But let's say you're 50 or you're 60. You know, can you wait 12 years, right? You need some time to enjoy your money. So maybe cryptocurrency isn't for you to invest your money into because you want to come in for the bull run. Hopefully that that bull run is going to peak and you're going to get out. You've got a great exit strategy. And that's it, right? But if you're in your early 30s, late 20s or whatever, and you can kind of go with the market, and if you're making good money, then yeah, like you can last multiple bull run cycles. Barack says, yeah, buy, buy, buy as much as you can. So anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. This is getting too long. So like I said, guys, I do uh, these Q&As quite often. Just uh, type in some questions or whatever. If you want me to do how-tos, etc. Shout out to FX, Faisal. So anyways, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Telegram, Twitter, links below. Um...